Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about domestic sewage treatment plant prices. So which is the best or which are the best domestic sewage treatment plants to buy? Which do you get more bang for your buck? Which are the most reliable? What are the most um, uh, cost-effective ones to buy that will save you the most money? Well, that's what I'm going to discuss with you in this video. Right, so getting straight into this, there's two types of domestic sewage treatment plants in the UK today. There's electric and non-electric, all right? So the difference between the two, besides the obvious, well, an electric sewage treatment plant runs on electricity and uses electricity. Right, it has cogs and gears and pulleys and belts and motors and compressors in it, right, uh, which all turn and you perform some kind of function in which for it to operate. Okay, a non oh, and basically uh, a domestic sewage treatment plant will convert and turn raw sewage into a clean wastewater. All right, that's legal um, according to the standards set out by the UK government. A non-electric sewage treatment plant does exactly the same as an electric treatment plant, but it doesn't use electricity. It has no uh, electrical motors or compressors or bearings or shafts or pulleys or anything like that in it, right? So that's basically the fundamental difference between the two, right? And I'm gonna base these prices on buying a treatment plant that will cater for one to 12 people. All right, so let's get straight into this. So let's say you were just buying the unit now. So let's say you're surfing on Google, looking for a package treatment plant, a, a, a domestic sewage treatment plant. What is it going to cost you just to buy the unit if you're buying an electric one? Because there's loads of different makes and models out there. Well, typically it will cost you around £4,000, um, including that includes the VAT, <clears throat> to buy an electric sewage treatment plant, right? Give or take, I mean, these are approximations, right? I could be five or 10% off on the prices because people have sales, um, new systems come out, it could be a bit more expensive. The older stock could be a, a, a little less expensive. So there is a margin for error here. So these are approximations, all right? So to buy an electric treatment plant that will cater for one to 12 people will cost you about 4,000 pounds. To buy a non-electric sewage treatment plant, right, to cater for one to 12 people, will cost you about 4,999 pounds, which includes the VAT, okay? <coughs> so yes, there's about a thousand pound difference in the two, all right? But now uh, we're going to see how much each of these systems costs to run each year or over five years. So let's have a look then. So what do I mean by cost to run? So an electric sewage treatment plant will use electricity and regardless what you read on the internet or what any of the manufacturers tell you, a one to 12 person um, domestic sewage treatment plant will cost you typically anywhere from 750 to a thousand pound a year in electricity costs, right? So let's just put 750 quid there for argument's sake, keep it on the lower side, right? Now, got to get my calculator now, so hold on. All right, so over five years, what will that cost? So um, 750 times five equals, so over five years, right, you're going to be spending 3,750 quid in electricity costs. Just like, you know, but you know, that's the nature of the beast with an electric system. I'm not trying to demonize them here. It's like if you buy a car, whatever car you buy, you've got to put petrol in, haven't you? Right? You've got to, you know, put window washer in. So all, all these, you know, costs should be taken into consideration, right? So what does it cost to run a non-electric sewage treatment plant over a year? Well, you'll be surprised to know, zero. It doesn't cost anything because it is powered by nature, not electricity, okay? And over five years, it costs zero to run, okay? So what does it cost to service an electric domestic sewage treatment plant? Well, it can vary, and I'm gonna play, keep the figures lower rather than higher here, but typically, you have to use an approved servicer, and it can cost anywhere, right, from 350 pounds plus. And um, 
So 350 quid a year, right? So that's one year. So that's one year. And over five years, uh, I'll get my calculator out again. Right, here we go. Uh, 350 times five equals, so 1,750 quid over five years, all right? So coming to uh, a non-electric sewage treatment plant, what does it cost to service each year and over five years? Nothing. Why? Because inside they're like organic, right? They've got like an ecosystem inside. They've got bacteria and enzymes and stuff like that inside. And uh, they call it like the one of the most popular uh, non-electric sewage treatment plants is, is something called an ecosystem non-electric treatment plant. And they're called uh, that because they are a slice of nature. Um, basically, they just eat all the waste and the byproducts and convert it into clean liquid fertilizer. But it just, it, it has a process of self-renewal. So the bacteria, as long as you keep feeding them, will forever indefinitely, right, just keep working. You don't have to top it up with this or top it up with that or come and screw this or come and clean that. They're an organ, it's like an organic uh, biological entity that looks after itself. That's why they call it the ecosystem. So cost to service, zero. Over a year, cost of service, over five years, zero. Which is amazing, isn't it? It's like, you know, what do earthworms cost to feed? Nothing, because they, you know, <laughs> they just live, don't they, in the wilds, in the soil or whatever, and just do their stuff. So, so um, anyway, listen, I'll carry on. Repairs, what about repairs over five years then to an electric sewage treatment plant? Okay, well, anything with cogs and bearings and motors and pulleys and shafts, and um, compressors is prone to break down. Electric sewage treatment plants only come with a year uh, warranty on all, all the electrical moving parts, right? And typically they last from anywhere from three to five years. And the, the things normally to go first are bearings or the compressors or motors, even the shafts, and they can be really expensive on like the bio discs and stuff like that that you can buy. But typically, Typically, on average, on the data that I've been learned over the last 20 years, it can cost you typically, mm, let's keep it on the lower side, let's say you spend 1500 quid plus to repair or replace your compressor or motor or, or stuff like that, you know. But there is, just like with a car, after the three years, you've got to take it into the garage and they'll, they'll have to flip and replace this and change that. It's the same. Anything that's got moving parts in is prone to wear and tear and things need replacing, all right? So you need to budget this kind of money, all right? On the non-electric systems, repairs over five years, there is none. These non-electric systems, like the ecosystem, come with a lifetime guarantee because there is no electrical moving mechanical parts in them to break down. It's like a biological composter. You know, worst case scenario, you're going to put a bit more bacteria in, okay? So let's say that was the case then, okay? Let's go down that route. So let's say on eBay, you buy some bacteria for 25 quid. There you go. And that is what maintains and services the non-electric treatment plants. So let's add all this up then, right? Let's add the total cost over a year and over five years for each of them, because that was the point of this exercise, right? All right, so we've got £4,000, for the, which is the cost of the unit there, £4,000. We've got uh, over five years, £3,750. We've got in electricity costs, we've got cost of service, which is £1,750. And over five years, we've got 1,500 quid for repairs. And I'm underestimating these figures again. But look, in total, right, over five years, you're going to spend, in total, about £11,000, right? So if we divide that by five, so that equates to about £2,200 a year. So let's go over to the non-electric treatment plant now, right? So we've got £4,999 and then we've got 25 quid, right? And so over five years, it's going to cost you, right, 5,024 quid, right? Divided by five, so you're looking at, so 5,000, oh, I'll do that again, 5,024 divided by five equals, so 10080p.
So there you go. So that's what the running costs for each one are. So basically, it, even though you've spent a thousand pounds more on the non-electric sewage treatment plant over a year, you save yourself a thousand pound a year, which is a lot of money. Over five years, right, you'll save yourself at least six thousand pounds. Six thousand pounds, that's a lot of money. Over 10 years, right, you'll save yourself 12,000 quid. So as I said from the outset I'm, outset, I'm not demonizing electric treatment plants. There's some very good ones out there. I put them in for years. There's many good makes and manufacturers and, and suppliers of them. However, technology changes, right? And that's all that's happening here. So non-electric treatment plants is the future. And personally, yes, you call me bias or whatever. I do lean this way. I think it's a no brainer to put a unit in that can't break down, that doesn't smell, that doesn't need servicing and costs nothing to run. And for me, that is the future. But obviously, if you want to save a thousand quid on the initial upfront price, um, then that's up to you. And then, as I said, pay you know, a couple of grand a year to run the thing, then obviously, um, you know, that's up to you. But the whole reason I've done this video is to show the price comparison of what it costs and costs to run a domestic sewage treatment plant, okay? O over a year or five years. So listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. Um, if you want more free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. You'll see loads of free videos there. Or go on to Google and type in Septic Tank TV. That's my YouTube channel. And on that channel, you'll find lots of free help and advice about septic uh, tanks and sewage treatment plants. And um, if you need any help and want to ring me in person, then, then as I said, just go to septictank.co.uk and ring the number there. But listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.